Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. And boxing, you find a way to win, or you find a way to lose. Working some numbers right there. So, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. A lot of people don't want to see that fight again. First fight, second fight, third fight. The, you know, majority feel that, you know, Tyson Fury, if there's a fourth fight, he's going to win the fourth fight, all right? But it doesn't matter what they feel. It doesn't matter what I feel. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. The truth of the matter is, and this is the reality we're living in, if Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, if Tyson Fury hangs around, uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are going to have a fourth fight. In case you didn't know, the WBC has activated uh, the fight for Ruiz and Wilder, Andy Ruiz, who I'm talking about, for the two of those guys to fight to become the mandatory to Tyson Fury. So it's on. Now, as far as Wilder and Usyk, from my understanding, that the WBC is not going to allow either one of them to have an interim fight. Wilder and Ruiz have to get it on. So as far as Wilder and Usyk fighting, look, this is boxing. It can be a little corrupt. Could have a little Kinahan connection. Irish mob can make things happen, right? But look, this is boxing, man. Money talks. I wouldn't be surprised if for some reason, you know, Deontay Wilder ends up getting there scrapping with Usyk. But right now, it doesn't look like that's uh, 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 realistic. Uh, what we're going to be dealing with is Andy Ruiz and Deontay Wilder. Now, the reason why I'm saying Wilder and Tyson Fury 4 is going to happen is because it's a foregone conclusion that Deontay Wilder is going to beat Andy Ruiz. I don't believe Andy Ruiz is going to get in the ring and pull off the upset like he did with AJ in the first fight. Deontay Wilder is way too smart for that. Malik Scott is way too smart for that. And for Andy Ruiz to really, really do damage, he's going to have to get in close somehow. Which, I don't see it happening. So, I, I'm going to go ahead and say Deontay Wilder is going to blast him out of there. If uh, Ariel almost got him out of there, Deontay Wilder gets him out of there. But, aside from that, Fury and Wilder 4. This is, this is what makes, you know, boxing so special, right? You could have two guys fight ten times. And nine times, one guy will win. And then the ten time, the other guy can win. This is boxing. These are heavyweights. It only takes one shot. Okay, so because of Deontay Wilder's power, he and they feel that with the changes he's making and the trainer De uh, Malik Scott, remember they only had one fight together with uh, Tyson Fury in the third fight. But especially now, he's back, he's active, he's not coming off a layoff, no injuries, um, his mind is clear. They feel that Deontay Wilder would clip, would clip Tyson Fury in a fourth fight. To me, I don't know. But I I watch it. It's like when I hear people saying, like at Mayweather and Pacquiao, there's a chance that two of those guys are going to mix it up in an exhibition bout. And people are like, oh, I won't watch it. I didn't watch the first fight. Uh, people tried to sue Showtime because the fight was so boring and they robbed people as far as the price point. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, listen. You can do what you want. I love boxing. So if Pacquiao and Mayweather fight four times, I'm going to watch it all four times. If Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury are going to fight this fourth time, doesn't matter who I think is going to win, I'm going to watch it. Because anything can happen in boxing, and especially when you're dealing with guys like Fury and Wilder, especially Wilder. He, he could get Fury out of there. Will he do it? I don't know. That's why I'm going to watch it. So any of the, the naysayers out there who are saying, this is a senseless fight. Why do it? Why put Wilder back in there? He's won, like some people say, one round out of, you know, what, 36? So, you know, I, I have to say, I really wish there was a, I would really like to see Wilder fight Usyk. I really would, man. But, it's just it's a little bit frustrating because look at the schedule, right? 
Wilder and Ruiz, they're not fighting this year. So they're going to sort all that out. It'll probably be, hell, it could be it October, November, December, not, probably be January time frame, okay? You, uh, Fury's fighting in December. So look at how close they're fighting. Then Fury and Yusick are supposed to get it on next year. If Wilder beats, well, when he beats Ruiz, what's Wilder supposed to do? Go inactive if he ha if he's the mandatory to Fury now and wait until December? Or Wilder going to have a fight in the interim just to stay active? Or is Fury after December when he wins his fight and wait to see who's going to win between uh, Wilder and Andy Ruiz? And then now he has to fight his mandatory. See, this is where it gets tricky. Because if Fury has to fight his mandatory and he and, and he doesn't want to pay step-aside money so he can go fight Usyk, Fury's back in the same position he was in for an undisputed distinction against AJ. He didn't want to pay the step-aside money to Deontay Wilder. He didn't want to give him a dime. If Fury would have just paid that money, wouldn't have fought AJ, he probably would have beat AJ. Then he could have given Deontay Wilder a shot. And, you know, hey, many say he would have beat him anyway, right? But he didn't want to give him all that money. And and, and I can understand. They're talking a lot, you know, millions and millions of dollars. But the way everything's, the way the cards fell, you know, maybe in, in hindsight, Tyson Fury should have just paid him, fought AJ, fought Wilder, then fought AJ again. He could have probably made even more money. But he did what he was comfortable with, and, and it's okay. But, but now, Fury's ending, he's going to end up in the exact same situation again. But it's not an arbitration that's going to force the fight. It's going to be the WBC. The WBC is not going to let Tyson Fury fight and, 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 and defend his belt in December. Fury, uh, Wilder and, and Ruiz fight in January. Then Wilder emerges as a victor and then say, okay, now we got Fury, we got Wilder. Both of them have just fought within, let's say, a few weeks of each other. And we're going to sit there now and let Fury skip over the mandatory and go fight Yusick in an undisputed distinction. They're not going to let that happen. Because now Wilder is going to have to sit and, or he's going to have to have an interim fight. Now, I don't see that happening. I can see the WBC saying no. Because remember, why would they do Tyson and Fury any more favors? He sat on the belt for a while. He said he was retiring. He wasn't retiring. He played all these games. So at some point, people get tired. I do not see the WBC uh, affording Tyson Fury additional extensions or allowing him to skip over his mandatories. I think Tyson Fury is going to have to pay um, a step aside fee to Deontay Wilder if he wants to fight. If Tyson Fury wants to fight Yusuf. And Tyson Fury is not going to want to pay that money. So he's going to have to fight Wilder. So Wilder Fury 4, I think that's going to happen summer of next year. Wilder clip Ruiz around January, then around May. Good date for both of them to recover, uh, get healthy, and start back training. Maybe May, Ju maybe July, around July time frame. That's what I predict. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But you post your comments below and you let me know how you think everything's going to play out. I'm trying to be as fair as possible, as sensible as possible, and look at how the WBC has acted in the past when it comes to Deontay Wilder, when it comes to Tyson Fury, when it comes to Tyson Fury and how he's behaved, when it comes to paying huge amounts of step-aside money to people. Here I just get in there and clip you, brush you off, and I think he's going to end up in the same position. That he ended up last, uh, the, the like was it last year, where he doesn't want to pay that step aside money. He's gonna have to fight Deontay Wilder because he doesn't want to give him millions of dollars for nothing. And the thing is, Deontay Wilder welcomes the fight, and uh, Deontay Wilder is about making his money too. You remember what he said? He said, "Why would I go out there and turn turn Tyson Fury in to the police and mess up all this money?" I know he cheated. These are Deontay Wilder's words. I know he cheated. But I'm not going to go and mess up all that money. So I'm going to go ahead and fight him. I'd rather take, take the, almost like taking the law into my own hands. 
and try to beat him. I think he even said, I think he said something along, along the lines of like, trying to beat him to death. So didn't quite work out that way, but he was able to put his hands on him and get a lot of his frustration and anger out. And he did a good job, but hey, we all saw what happened in that third fight. But going into this fourth fight, I don't, I don't even, I don't know how all of that would build up. But it would be some more drama. It would. But I honestly don't want to see Deontay Wilder getting there with Tyson Fury for the fourth fight. I'll watch it. I don't want Tyson Fury getting in there. I, I just think let let these guys do something else. But it's coming, people. WBC, man, you know what they. They come up with these cool belts and they have some programs in place for retired fighters who fall on hard times and they seem to have good intentions. But at the end of the day, these people only care about making their money. I'm not saying they don't care about the fighter, but if you have it and you prioritize one through 10, number one priority for those guys is money. Maybe three, four, the fighter. Okay, so it is what it is. But that being said, that's my two cents on Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Andy Ruiz. It's, it doesn't even make sense for me to break down Ruiz and Wilder and, and, and show the things that Ruiz do, does good and things Wilder does good and how Ruiz could win the fight and how Wilder could win the fight and do that. Talking specifically textbook stuff, boxing 101 stuff, and articulate it with all the, bo the boxing knowledge, the boxing jargon, the boxing language, to where you guys can understand. Because I think most of you are very familiar with Andy Ruiz. You know what he does good. Deontay Water, we know what he does good. This is just a matter of Deontay Water is going to turn stupid overnight and fight small and let Ruiz get close and get off those shots. Or if Water is going to stay intelligent the way he is, Keep that fight at a distance and do it to Deon do it to Andy Ruiz, the shorter guy with shorter arms, do to him what he's always done to guys who aren't the same or even close to his stature. Brush him off. Knock him out. Now, for those of you saying Andy Ruiz is not going to go down easy, Andy Ruiz is going to go down. He's going to go down faster than the plate of Alabama barbecue. So, believe that. But that being said, shout out to everybody from all seven continents. Shout out to all the veterans. I appreciate the support. Y'all keep cool. Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder 4. Be here next year around July. I really believe that. If, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But that's my prediction. Y'all keep cool. And as always, I'm in the breeze.